Closed captioning for Education Matters is sponsored by Margaret's Garden Adult Daycare and Will Lou Gray Opportunity School out of West Columbia. Attention, man, woman, boy, or girl. It's your life, it's your future, and it's your choice. Education Matters is next. Good morning and welcome inside of Education Matters. My name is Donna Moore Westby, your host of Education Matters, where learning it's living. Yes, it's another gorgeous Sunday morning. It's gorgeous because we're alive to see another beautiful day. So that gives us another opportunity to get closer to God, to love family and friends, and to do what we've been called to do. And here inside of Education Matters, every week learning is living. And I'm blessed with the opportunity to be in your home to hopefully share a message of positivity, a message of growth, a message of inspiration. It doesn't matter today whether you are 16 years old or whether you are 60 years old. There's a word for you today and a presentation that my husband and I call Your Life, Your Future, Your Choice. Today will be a subset of that presentation and one that I kind of tailor to my own personality to help us get a very positive message across today. So please don't go anywhere or if you have to leave, make sure you record us and watch us a little bit later on. Of course, we thank our sponsors of Education Matters and our corporate sponsors are Westby's Products and Services, creator of Don Seasoning Delight, all-purpose seasoning and marinade. The University of South Carolina in Aiken, located in the beautiful Aiken, South Carolina, accepting students all across this country and certainly a model college in our area. Howell Printing, here they are, Howell Printing also of Aiken, South Carolina, uh, Mr. Bill and uh, lovely wife Janice, thanks so much for all the support you give to Education Matters and over 130 years of professional business. Give them a try. Also, Will Lou Gray Opportunity School, South Carolina's premier alternative education school for males and females between the ages of 16 to 19. Margaret's Garden, adult daycare. Yes, adult daycare. And some of you may certainly need those services. Their grand opening is imminent. And look for the date right here inside of Education Matters. So Margaret's Garden, we thank you. And then finally, Security Federal Bank. There is a Security Federal in our entire broadcast coverage area and several of the branches are open seven days a week. I think I've been saying six days, but it's actually seven days a week. So thanks so much to all of our corporate sponsors and we also have some individuals who've pledged their support for the entire Education Matters mission. If you'd like to become a part of our sponsorship family, you will receive the number and the contact information in today's segment, okay? All right, moving on to this week's chalkboard reminder. And uh, of course, this should be nothing new to you. So here it goes. February is designated as Black History Month for the remembrance of important people and events in the history of those of African descent or African heritage. Now, it is celebrated annually in the United States and Canada in the month of February, but it's celebrated in October in the United Kingdom. So my challenge to you is to take the opportunity this month and throughout the year to learn some of the untold American history accounts by attending area events, plays, observances, read a book, whatever you can do. Uh, this is, in my opinion, American history. It's our history. But we pause to make special note of those of African descent during the month of February. And of course, some of you know that Black History Month was first instituted in 1926 as Negro History Week by Carter G. Woodson. He was a black historian in cooperation with the Association for the Study of Negro Life and History. It started out as the second, the second week of February, and that week was chosen because it coincided with the birthdays of President Abraham Lincoln 
and the notable Frederick Douglass. And then as um, the notoriety grew and um, more individuals were wanting to be highlighted, then it grew into the month of February, okay? That is your chalkboard reminder for this week. Okay, before we go to the word of the week, I do have an announcement, and this is coming from Education Matters. And uh, I'm very, very excited about it. We are excited to present our second annual Are You Ready to Be Grown conference. Here's the flyer for you up on the screen. Last year was our first year, and we had over 200 middle, high school students, and parents to attend this conference. Well, it's coming again, and the date this year is Saturday, August the 1st. 2015. Yes, go ahead and get your vacations out of the way or you can go the week after before school starts. This is a conference middle schoolers, high schoolers and parents you will not want to miss. A lot of our young people think they're ready to be grown but they have no clue what it really takes. They don't know what you go through as an adult. And this conference is the whole point is to help them understand the value of education, but also to provide some much needed assistance to our parents. OK, this will take place from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. at the University of South Carolina in Aiken. Now, for more details on the conference, the uh, titles of the sessions, the registration fee, the registration form, just go to my website, www.edmat.com, okay? We'll continue to announce the conference throughout the year. Okay, that sound means it's Word of the Week inside of Education Matters. Every week we do provide you with a brand new Word of the Week. Here is this week's Nostalgia. Nostalgia, John. Do you have moments of nostalgia? He's nodding yes. <laughs> it is a noun and it means a longing for things, persons, or situations that are not present or homesickness. Here is your sentence. The dying grandmother shared with her grandchildren a moment of nostalgia, of being young and without much responsibility. My, my, my. The good old days, as it were. <laughs> Nostalgia is this week's word of the week. Have fun with it. Share it with your family members, your church youth groups. Just as long as we can continue to learn, we will grow. That is your word of the week. All right, quickly moving on to the grammar lesson of the week. Here we go. It's I-T-S versus I-T apostrophe S. Now, we may have done this one already, but we're still not getting it, so we want to focus on it again. It's, I-T-S, is the possessive form of the pronoun it, okay? Possessive pronouns never have apostrophes, okay? Now, to the contrary, I-T apostrophe S, it's, is the contraction of it is. Okay, so whenever you have that apostrophe, that means it's shortened form of two words, it is. Here are some sentences for you. The dog lives in its, I-T-S, own house, okay? It's possessive, uh, connecting back to dog. Okay, the next sentence, the owner believes it's the best place for the dog to live. It is, the short form of, uh, instead of using both words, then you use the I-T apostrophe S, the contraction for it is, okay? Put that in your mind, practice it, take a look at newspapers so that you can see the difference. Sometimes people will make the errors ev even in the newspapers, but you know, okay, with this, okay, with this grammar lesson of the week, now you know what's correct. Okay, well, after these very important messages, we'll come back and share with you a very special presentation inside of Education Matters, your life, your future, your choice. We'll be right back. Seven thousand high school students drop out every school day. That's a line of desks more than four miles long. We can keep students in school.
Visit BoostUp.org and take the first step. Original one of a kind. WNRR Gospel 1380 AM. Your new favorite station for the latest in chart topping gospel music, news, and entertainment. So why don't you make the switch today to WNRR Gospel 1380 AM? Also, listen live, 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 live on WNRRGospel.com or download our free iPhone or Android app and search at WNRR Gospel. WNRR Gospel 1380 AM. Your new favorite station. Welcome back inside of the broadcast. You're watching Education Matters with me, Donna Moore Wesby, where learning is living. Thanks so much for watching WRDW Channel 12. I trust you're having a beautiful Sunday morning, and we are so appreciative to you for continuing to watch this very fine station. Speaking of WNRR, that is the station where I broadcast my radio segment, and I'm very excited because this week we celebrated six years of broadcasting on radio. So uh, thanks to those of you who gave us shouts out on Facebook and Twitter and who are continuing to share the love. I certainly do feel it. And uh, hopefully today will be no different as we discuss the truth. You know, the truth is sometimes very difficult to uh, receive. But we certainly need it, as I said on uh, my radio broadcast this week. Not only will the truth make you free, but it will set you free. And today, if you are receptive to what we'd like to share, then I believe it will make way for uh, quite a bit of growth and um, inspiration in your own life. So this is a broadcast for uh, young people as well as adults, and we're going to jump right into it today with a presentation that was developed by my husband and I entitled, Your Life, Your Future, Your Choice. Let me say that again. Your life, your future, your choice. This is a subset of an entire presentation that he and I will do sometimes together and sometimes individually. But today the Lord made way for us to share this with a broader audience today because somebody needs to hear what uh, is, is located in this information. So let's start off. You know, I'm really big on definitions and words. So let's make sure we're all together. What does it mean to choose, okay? What does it mean to choose? Straight from the dictionary. To pick out by preference from what is available. To decide to make one's selection, okay? That's what it means to choose. It doesn't matter whether you are a child or an adult. We're all making choices every day, aren't we? You made a choice to watch WRDW versus some other stations, okay? <laughs> you made a choice. And you made that choice for a variety of reasons. Sometimes we make choices based on what will work best for us or what's going to be most beneficial to us. Sometimes we make choices based on the needs of others and what will help someone else. Well, let's take a look. What choices do you make now? Again, as I said, it doesn't matter whether you are an adult or a young person, you're making some of these same choices, so let's take a look, okay? You're making a choice whether or not you're going to be involved in certain activities in your life, whether it's sporting activities or exercise or other extracurricular activities, maybe activities in your church. You're making choices as to what clothes to wear, okay? Whether the clothes you wear uh, truly 
exude your inner beauty or your personality or whether or not you're going to be an imitator of someone else. You're making those choices. You're even making choices about the types of friends you will have, whether it's friends who lift you up, who encourage you, who will tell you the truth when sometimes the truth may hurt or feel uncomfortable. You're even making choices about education, okay? There's somebody out there as an adult who made a choice a long time ago about dropping out of school that maybe you're regretting now today. Maybe you're feeling the consequences of that particular choice, okay? There is good news and we're gonna share that good news with you today. Some young people are watching right now who are, doing, who are not doing the very best they can do in school, you know that, you know that's you. Maybe you're misbehaving and you don't quite understand the value of education. Maybe you're doing this uh, trigonometry or this algebra and you just can't quite figure out what is it all for? Why does it matter? It all is about choices and we're making these choices every day. But guess what? Doesn't matter whether someone else caused some hurt or pain to you at school or at work or even in your own families. You're making choices about your own behavior. Whether or not, as my husband and I say, we're gonna make it a good day no matter what, or you're gonna make it a bad day based on your attitude. Guess what, it's all a choice. And as an individual, we have been blessed with the ability to make these choices, okay? Let's keep moving on. Now, as I'm talking with young people, you know, I kind of have to use some of the lingo they use. So sometimes I'll play a little song that goes with, with this particular slide. You can get with this or you can get with that, all right? Let's talk about some of the choices you can get with, okay? These are, these are pretty good. And then I'll also parallel with choices that aren't always so positive. Here we go. You can either get with discipline Okay, which is having self-control, which is about having boundaries, all right? It's about taking ownership and responsibility for one's own actions, or you can get with no self-control, okay? Sometimes those people who have no self-control tend to want to blame others, blame uh, those who may have caused them harm. Well, I'm acting this way because of, of what Johnny did to me or what mama did to me or what daddy didn't do for me. Well. You can play the victim role if you want, but is that really going to get you anywhere? Is that really going to move you from point A to point B? That's a question you have to ask yourself. Now, you can get with sobriety or you can get with drug or alcohol addictions. Remember, it's about choices and the choice is yours. Young people, you need to realize that following the crowd, Following those who you think are cool at the time could end in some devastating, life-altering circumstances that you may not be ready to even deal with at this stage in your life. And sometimes, as we've seen in the news day in and day out, you can make a split-second decision that can change the rest of your life. And some of those decisions are things you cannot recover from, okay, quite honestly. And, uh, but that's what you can get with, or you can get with something else. Now, you can get with abstinence, or if that's just not cool for you, you can get with diseases, <laughs> it's your choice, pregnancy, or bad reputation, trust me. If you think, young people and adults, that laying it all out there on the line and exposing it and giving it all up is the way to go and people won't talk about you, They'll tell you it's good in the moment, and next thing you know, your name is mud in the street. It happens, but the choice is yours. I'm here to just share with you love. All of this today is about love because education matters and learning is living. Let's keep going. You could get with independence, okay, where you, again, accept responsibility for your own actions, where you do the very best you can and you give it your all, and you accept the fact that you have made certain choices in your life, or you can depend on somebody else to take care of your needs, take care of your wants. And even to some degree, some will even hand it over 
to others. Hand their happiness in someone else's hand. Hand over the fact, well, I need for you to complete me. If you are not complete and confident with the individual God has made you to become, no one else can do that for you. And trust me, people change. So they will want you to become one way today and another person the next day, okay? But again, it's all about your choices. You can be a leader or a follower. And sometimes it's good to be both, okay? You can be a leader today and a follower tomorrow. That's okay, but you gotta know your motives. You can choose to have a spiritual connection, as I have, or you can choose to just rely on self and, and live and wander aimlessly about in this world, unsure of your purpose. That's your choice. You can either, this is one of my favorites, live or survive. And somebody said, well, what's the difference? Well, living is enjoying life. Living is taking advantage of every opportunity that's presented to you in the moment because the next moment is not guaranteed to us. Living is also maximizing the opportunities you have to the fullest such that you recognize that in case you live a little bit longer, that you could possibly have a future. So it's not all about, well, I'm just giving it all right this moment and I'm risking it all, but sometimes plans with God as your guide and your director can lead to a life where you are living and not just making it day by day, check by check. That's surviving. That's not enjoying life for the beautiful gift it is. Or you can get with education or you can choose to drop out, okay? Today it is my prayer that no one is considering dropping out. The statistics prove and show that those who drop out of high school have a greater chance, stand a greater chance of entering the penal system, of becoming a convict, of trying to survive versus living, all right? Education is the key. Education is a, 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 a tremendous key to opening the doors to opportunity. It also allows you to gain insight into the value of knowledge. And for me, knowledge is one thing, but wisdom, wisdom is even better. And that goes back to my spiritual connection. See, wisdom allows you the ability to process information, but to not just act on that information, but to wait on the inclination of the Holy Spirit to let you know when and where is the time to move on that information. So there's, there are a lot of people out there who know they, they've got the knowledge, but wisdom says, keep your mouth shut or this is the time to speak. Wisdom says, let me allow someone else to move forward while I remain in the background. Wisdom is that spiritual guide that allows the real purpose of who you are in your life to shine through in every aspect of your being. And it's all tied to your choices, okay? So we're laying the groundwork here. Now, I said something earlier about what you can get with, and one of those was uh, discipline. Well, here are the results if you choose to not have discipline. These are some consequences. Take a look. Lack of coping skills at school or at work, okay? I said at the beginning of the broadcast, this segment is not just for young people, it's also for adults, and maybe in some cases, maybe even more so, okay? <laughs> when you don't have discipline, you can be at work or be at school and can't get along with anybody, and no one can get along with you because you don't control your mouth, you say whatever you wanna say, you do whatever you wanna do, you don't weigh the consequences and you don't care about anybody else. But again, it's your choice. Not having discipline can also result in social skills, suffering, okay? Again, not knowing how to get along with others, okay? Not having discipline also interrupts the education process. Young people, when you are in class, your 40 hour a week job, your eight hour day, 40 hour a week job is school. It's to get the most out of your education that you're able to get. That's all A's, okay? 
an occasional B. I'll give that to you. It's just like me. I have a job. The adults watching here, a lot of them have jobs. If we aren't doing the very best we can and giving it our all each day that we come to work, then guess what? We're robbing our employer of those wages because we haven't earned them, okay? But we'll have our hands out expecting that paycheck, but then we want to come to work late. We want to come to work grumbling and complaining, okay? We don't want to give it our all. Guess what? That's no discipline. All I'm speaking here is the truth. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but for us, we must examine self. If we truly want to move forward in our lives, become a positive person, one that um, just has prosperity and uh, positivity all around us, then we've got to be willing to take a look at self and confront those things that even we don't like to look at. Even we can't stand to see, okay? Those who are courageous enough to do that will see monumental changes in their lives. You see the others, family stress, oh my goodness. Talk about no discipline. When you don't have discipline, there is stress on moms, dads, grandparents, everybody suffers, okay? So today we're talking about your life, your future, your choice. And don't you go anywhere, we're gonna make the connection because in the next part, we're gonna talk dollars and cents and how it all comes together. You're inside of Education Matters. We'll be right back. Greetings, I'm Dr. Maritha Willis and welcome to Teaching on Purpose Moments. Today, I'm going to share with you segment three, Unpacking, and I have a special guest, Ms. Jackson. Check it out. Hi, Ms. Jackson. Hi, Dr. Willis. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing well. Great to be in your classroom today. Yes, great to have you. Tell me what's going on with this board. What is that? Okay. Um, eighth grade language arts and we're getting ready to start our second unit, um, the challenge of utopia. And so I had the kids to go through and unpack what is called an embedded assessment. So the kids have to go through, analyze the information and tell what it is that they have to do. And so this is an example of the kids um, unpacking. And as the teacher together today, after they individually unpacked in the, um, today, I actually went through and I unpacked the embedded assessment as a model. And so we actually just discussed the information that we'll be learning in the next unit. And once the kids, um, as we go through the different elements of the unit, the primary goal is for the kids to write an expository essay. So the kids will come up um, as we complete activities and they will actually mark where they are to actually get to the final embedded assessment. So they know what they have to do and the skills they have to have. To learn more about unpacking, visit www.teachingonpurpose.com. And thank you for being a top educator. The Will Blue Gray Opportunity School has been serving the beautiful Midlands of South Carolina since 1921. Our mission has evolved over the years and we now specialize in helping young people move past their obstacles in order to achieve success. We give students opportunities to lead, to develop social skills, to become active in their communities and to taste success. Don't settle for less than the absolute best for your life. Contact us today to take the next step in your journey toward success. Why go to college anywhere else? For the past four years, U.S. News & World Report has named University of South Carolina Aiken the number one top public comprehensive college in the South. You can attend one of the best universities in the nation with more than 49 majors in academic programs, nationally ranked athletics, and great student life. With small classes, the faculty and staff are focused on your success. USC Aiken, the university focused on you. Margaret's Garden Adult Daycare is coming soon to serve the community of Aiken. We are dedicated to enhancing the emotional, mental, and physical well-being of our clients, allowing seniors to remain in the community as long as possible. A daily fitness plan, games, weekly outings, fine dining, and discussion groups are just a few of the services we offer to keep your loved one active and engaged. Margaret's Garden, we meet you where you are. 
If you are interested in becoming an individual or corporate sponsor of Education Matters, contact Donna Moore Wesby at 803-507-6793 or email at DonnaWesby at AOL.com. Welcome back inside of Education Matters. My name is Donna Moore Westby, your host. We're inside of Education Matters. Learning is living. Today inside of the broadcast, we do have a special segment. There is no guest, just you and me. Today we're giving a subset of a presentation that my husband Donald and I will do from time to time in schools or wherever uh, we, we go. And it's called Your Life, Your Future your choice. This is a presentation that's meant to appeal to adults as well as young people. Adults, if you have children in your home and they're still in the bed, I implore you to wake them up because they, they need to hear this. The sooner our young people grasp the value of education, the better off their lives will be. The sooner we as adults learn what life really means and the value of life and how we are uh, living examples for our children and even those around us, I think the better our world will become as well. So thanks for, so much for watching. If you have to go, make sure you record us. But also, uh, we will have uh, the link to this broadcast on the WRDW YouTube channel. So again, thanks so much for watching. And I want to let you know that again, this is a conversation rooted in love. Sometimes it's difficult, especially for adults, to hear the truth. We want to uh, talk about everybody else and we're able to look at uh, what everyone else is not doing or what they should do. But how many of us really take a look in the mirror? Do we like what we see? Do we enjoy progress? Do we enjoy seeing what um, maybe some of those have tried to tell us they've tried to warn us whether it was family members loved ones friends maybe even people you didn't even know said you know what there's this thing about you i noticed and it doesn't have to be negative it could even be positive okay your life your future your choice we're talking about a lot of things today but this presentation is rooted in the message that education matters knowledge matters Wisdom is the translation or the application of the knowledge or the information, and that's the point we want to get to today. So let's continue. When we're talking with young people, of course, with, they're trying to make sense of what school is, is for and why all of this matters. One of the things we know for sure is young people may not exactly know what they want to become or what they want to be in life because they're still figuring themselves out. But a lot of them do tend to know what they want out of life, okay, in terms of material things. Some people, and maybe even you adults, you know what kind of house you want, what kind of car you want to drive, whether you want uh, bling bling, your, you know, your jewelry, the type of clothes you want to wear. Maybe you know already what type of food you want to eat, what type of restaurants you want to be able to, to frequent. Uh, traveling, okay? My husband and I love to travel. Maybe you want to travel all over the United States or even all over the world. Maybe you enjoy going to concerts because your mama and your daddy are paying for them. <laughs> well, how do you think it's going to work out when you are, say, 30 years old? and you have your own wife and kids or husband and kids, you think mom and daddy are going to continue to pay for all that? So what we do, <laughs> yeah, I hear some parents saying, heck no, that's right, because we're trying to set them up now to live that life of independence that goes back to an earlier slide. So that's one of the ways we kind of set the tone with our young people. You may not know exactly what you want to be, but you do know the kinds of things you want in life. So then we ask the question, how do you think you're going to get there? How do you think you're going to get from being at mama's house to having this three-story house with a three-car garage, being able to go see Beyonce, being able to go out to eat three or four times a week? How do you think all that's going to happen? 
and boom, that's where we talk about education. But before we do that, we make it all about dollars and cents. So take a look at this next one, because again, it goes back to choices. The choice is yours. You can get with getting a good quality education, making good sound choices and decisions that can translate or be that connection to the type of adult lifestyle you want to have, okay? We're going to probably work. Most people will work longer than they'll be in school. So we show the kids, if you and those of you watching, if you make the most of these 12 or 14 years, then it's going, in your education, it's going to set you up for the kind of adult lifestyle you want to have for the next 50, 60, 70 years, however much longer you have to live. So it's very paramount that you make the sacrifices you need to make now so that you can live later on in life and not just survive. So here's a case study, all right? And I'm going to read straight from the slide here. Now, this is a case study, so we are just kind of pretending, right? Mm -hmm. There's some people in this predicament. Because you made poor choices, maybe you decided to uh, drop out of school. Maybe you decided you wanted to just have bad behavior, so you got put out of school. Maybe you decided to get with that boy or girl, and you all ended up making some choices and decisions that put you in a life situation that you weren't quite prepared to handle, okay? Here you go. Now you're, you have a job making minimum wage of $7.25 an hour, or roughly $15,080 per year, which equates to $1,160 per month. You tell that to young people, and we even use play money. Hey, anybody want $1,000 per month, John? And they're like, whoa, yeah, me, me, me. We say, okay, good. Here you go. Let's play. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. All right. Here you go. Right off the top, give me almost 30% because Uncle Sam's got to have his cut. So that's about $324.80 you will not even see. That's right. It comes out off the top. So that already takes you down under the thousand mark. Okay. Way, way under. But guess what? There are some expenses you haven't thought about because you're no longer living at home with mom, most of you. You can't wait to get out of the house anyway, right? Oh, I can't wait. He, she gets on my nerves. She doesn't get me. She doesn't understand me. Well, guess what? They probably taking care of your every need right now. So while you are in school and should be making good grades, setting yourself up for your own independence and adult lifestyle, Mom and dad or grandparents or somebody is paying the house note, the water bill, the electric bill, buying your food, buying your clothes, even allowing you to have some occasional entertainment. Am I right? I know I'm right. I'm going to ring the bell for myself on that. <laughs> so let's keep going. House note, okay? In this area, easy house note of $800 a month. And some of you are saying, well, I'll just rent. Guess what? It'll be about that much too, okay? Ask anybody. As a matter of fact, you do that. You try to go out there and look around, okay? Some of the nicer apartments that, you know, aren't roach infested, <laughs> they're going to be about $800 a month, and that might be two bedrooms, okay? Yeah, it's for real. This is real stuff. Property taxes, guess what? Whether you, uh, if you own your own place for sure, you're gonna have to pay the, the state government for the, the usage of that land. So you'll have property taxes. So as you can see on the slide, I estimate $200 for that, okay? Then of course, that nice fine ride you wanna ride in, okay? Shoot, and we're not talking about the best on the lines and some of the young people you want to love to throw your hands up for the Lexus and the Mercedes and all of that? Trust me, not only is it, is it difficult to afford the note itself, but it's just as difficult to afford, the, uh, to afford the maintenance on these vehicles. So you see car note, car insurance, food. We know how expensive food is. Adults, I challenge you. 
get one of your grocery store receipts and show it to the young people who live in your houses today. They have no clue of how much things cost because you haven't shown them. Have these kinds of conversations with them so they can start to make sense. You know what? If I want to be able to take care of myself and provide not just for my needs, but also some of my wants, I better pay attention in school. I better get good grades. I better have good behavior because all of those things are going to follow me, okay? Have these kinds of dialogues in your own home. And adults, if you made mistakes in your life and maybe you're in um, a survival mode, let them know that as well. They probably already do because it's impacting them. But the real message when you have an honest conversation with your kids about the mistakes you made, about the challenges you made, you will connect with them in ways that fussing and yelling never will, okay? Letting them know that you too were once a young person and a teenager making some bad choices, but this is how you recover, and now you're trying to deal with those choices, then your children will respect you a lot more because of that. So anyway, you get the picture. Cell phone, et cetera. So with that, uh, with that scenario, we let the young people see. Now total all those expenses up, and these are lowballing it. We lowballed it. $3,800 plus dollars per month as some of your expenses. And we've not even included emergencies. <laughs> because those always happen. The heater goes out, the air goes out, the car breaks down. All of these things happen, but young people don't think about it, right? Well, it's not really their job to because you're taking care of it, but I guarantee you it will help them, some of them, a little bit better to understand why education is so important and how it can lead to them having a better adulthood for themselves if you share these kinds of details. So the bottom line is you're short. You're short, not one time, but every month because a lot of these expenses are recurring. They're going to come back not just this month, but the next month. So then we ask the young people and adults, we're asking you, so what will you give up? Are you going to give up the car? Hmm. Are you going to give up that cell phone that you're so attached to? Well, maybe instead of $800 a month for food, we got to cut back to 500. So that means all the desserts and all of the other things that we like to get, we just can't get it this month, maybe next month either. These are some real choices that many of you are making every day. We're all making these types of choices, okay? Living within your means is, is a, a choice and you can choose it or you can live, choose to live beyond your means and be in that survival mode where you don't have enough every month. And that's a tough way to live, okay? But again, it's all about choices. And it ties back to education, maximizing your opportunities, doing the most with what you currently have before you can do better, okay? So this next slide, money, we all need it, it's a tool to take care of our needs as well as our wants, and there is a big difference in the two, and that's a whole nother show in itself, okay? Sometimes because of our choices, we are choosing to take care of wants more than our needs, and that also gets us into trouble. Young people, you need to understand that there's a big difference between a job and a career. A career is a, a choice, it, it is a process, it's that, a calling that's upon your life that allows you to really enjoy what you're doing every day. It, it's why you wake up. It's that reason, that purpose that allows you to exist and you know I'm where I'm supposed to be. But guess what? Very few people are able to enjoy a career without education, without some type of education, whether it's a two-year associate's degree or technical degree or an apprenticeship where you're working underneath someone, getting that training for your college or going on uh, even beyond a four year degree, okay? That knowledge, that knowledge gives you access to power in terms of knowing how 
to matriculate through this world, being able to process information to help make wise choices, good choices for your life, okay? Your life, your future, your choice. Let's look at some realities. High school dropouts are more likely to become criminals, okay? If you look at any prison, any prison in this country, you'll see staggering statistics that most of those uh, persons are, are, do not have a high school diploma. They're in survival mode, okay? They've ended up, they've put themselves in a situation where they have to take jobs that don't uh, provide as much money as they really need to take care of those needs. So by any means necessary, okay? And some of that uh, means they steal, they sell drugs, they do all kinds of things that end them up in prison or jail. Individuals who have attained some amount of college education will earn roughly three times more money than those who do not. That's proven. And then finally on this slide, individuals who can read report a better quality of life than those who do not seek help and learn to read. Also, in looking at the, the jails and the prisons, you'll find in addition to uh, those who have become criminals is they are not reading on their grade level, if at all. So I appeal to you today, man, woman, boy, or girl, if you do not know how to read, get the help. Nowadays in this country, you can, there are programs everywhere that will teach you how to read. It doesn't matter your age, okay? You just have to take that step. Admit to yourself, when you look in that mirror, this is something I want to change. And it's not going to change by just saying you want it. You have to actively work toward it. You have to actively work toward eradicating illiteracy and ignorance. And the way you do that is by taking steps to make the right choices. Get on the internet, place that phone call, call somebody and say, I want the help, okay? Well, I hope this is making sense to you. Uh, I prayed before the broadcast that uh, the Lord will touch somebody. Again, I hope you don't see me, but I hope you see the God in me that's speaking through me to speak to your heart today. You're inside of Education Matters. We'll be right back. When it comes to grilling, I'm the man. Using Don Season in the Light, I'm the grill master. My seasoning is available at Prober, Bilo, Food Line, Reads, and Harvest. Look for it on display in the meat department. Also visit SeasoningDelight.com for information and recipes. Don Seasoning Delight, it's so good. Don Seasoning Delight is so good. Weekends are for resting, relaxing, and recharging your batteries. A good weekend can also give you the time to catch up on business you couldn't get to during the week. For Security Federal Bank customers, that means banking business. What does seven-day banking mean to your banker? More importantly, what does it mean to you? At Security Federal Bank, being open seven days a week means just that. That's why our Southside branch on Whiskey Road in front of Target is open for business every day, even Saturday and Sunday. We're proud to be the only bank to be open seven days a week in Aiken County. If we were you, we'd bank with us. Have you made the switch? Make the switch to the original one of a kind. WNRR Gospel 1380 AM. Your new favorite station for the latest in chart topping gospel music, news, and entertainment. So why don't you make the switch today to WNRR Gospel 1380 AM? Also, listen live, 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 live on WNRRGospel.com or download our free iPhone or Android app and search at WNRR Gospel. WNRR Gospel 1380 AM. Your new favorite station. Okay, thanks so much for coming back. Young people, you may ask, well, how can I make better choices? How can I make the most of my education so that I can have a wonderful adulthood? Now, it's not to say every day is going to be just hunky-dory and everything is going to fall into place the way you want it, but at least you have a better attitude about it, okay? Let's start with making the most of your education. And uh, I'm going to give you some good study tips. These are things that I've put into practice, tips that I've shared with others. And I want to share a few of those with you because you can turn it around. It's never too late. Now, remember, a habit is something you do repeatedly, almost instinctually. 
So if you're saying you have study habits and you're doing these things occasionally, guess what? News flash, it's not a habit, okay? <laughs> it's not something you automatically do. Here we go, make time to study, okay? Don't fool yourself. If you're not gonna study, don't study. But then don't expect to get an A or a B when you didn't put the time or effort into getting the results you want. Find a quiet place. I know we love our music, okay? You love all types of music, but soon as your favorite song comes on, you're gonna forget about studying. It's human nature, okay? You're gonna get into it. You need to have a quiet place to study. Or if you gotta have something playing, maybe put on a little instrumental or a little classical music, okay? Just to kind of make you feel like something's going on so it's not totally quiet, you can do that. Remove all distractions, all distractions. Television, brothers, sisters, uh, people playing outside in the window. Do whatever you have to do. We're humans, we will get distracted. But if you're focused on changing those C's to A's or changing those F's to C's and then C's to B's and A's, then these are some things you're just gonna have to do. And you see the rest there. Never study when tired. Give yourself enough time to study. Perform practice tests and quizzes. Make flashcards. Read, read, read until you understand, okay? Taking notes in class definitely helps. And then study those notes every day, whether you have homework or not. That's for you, young people, as well as those adults who are in school. Now, if you are an adult, and you find yourself in a predicament that we talked about earlier, and you're struggling, you're surviving, you're not living, then here's some tips for you, okay? If you find that you are a victim of poor choices, there's hope and there's help. Take an honest look at self and ask yourself, why are you in this predicament? Are you in this predicament because you've blamed others? Are you in this predicament because you have chosen not to accept the reality of your poor choices? If the answer is yes, then you can start today by making that change. And then when you make a change, it's going to be a little tough, but you can do it. And also know now, some people are going to want you to stay back, okay? They're going to want you to stay in the mess. They're going to want you, they're going to want to even hold you back. Don't let that happen, okay? because you're on the verge of a breakthrough when that happens. There are people who don't have the courage yet to do what you have committed to do for yourself. Understand that, take my word for it, because that's just the way it is. Some people just aren't ready. But if you're ready to make a change, then you do it. Set some goals, surround yourself with positive people who can keep you encouraged and never look back. And of course, I wouldn't be me if I didn't tell you to pray and to seek God for guidance and direction. That's recipe number one. Take active steps to change the trajectory of your life. Maybe you want to enroll in school, okay? Did you drop out and maybe as, an, as a young person and now you're an adult and you think I can never go back, it's never too late. There are people doing it every single day. The Guinness Book of World Records has someone over 100 graduating from high school. Okay, I think it was high school, it might be college. In any case, the point still remains, you can do it. Maybe you wanna start, start your own business, okay? Maybe you wanna change your job or seek a new career. Now, I don't personally advise quitting or leaving a job before you have another opportunity, but it all depends on what the Lord is directing you to do because you might have to actually move, change your environment, change your scenery, change the people you're hanging around that might assist in holding you down, okay? And then of course I recommend finding a mentor or someone who can help keep you encouraged. Maybe it's someone who is doing what you would like to do one day whether it's going back to school or starting a business or you know uh, getting off of a government, uh, governmental assistance and has moved on to become more independent. All of these things are possible, but the message is to never give up, all right? Who decides your life's path? I love this slide, you do. The choice is yours. So my question to you is what good decisions are you making today? What are you willing to make? The choice is truly yours. And Lauren, we're gonna to jump to the last slide of this presentation, talk the talk and walk the walk. These are my last words, okay? 
Don't just talk about it. As the young people say, be about it, about it. Be about it, okay? Don't be one of those people who always talks about what they're going to do. Well, I'm trying, I'm trying. Yeah, forget that. Do it. Do it. Be about it. And then you'll be able to look back and say, my God, look from whence you brought me. It's doable. If I can do it, you can too. I'm no different than you are. I'm just willing to be used by God and I'm willing to look at myself. And if there's some things I need to change, it might be a little tough pill to swallow at first, but I get it down. I drink a little bit of water, <laughs> say my prayer, and I get moving. And that's what you got to do. You only get one chance to make a first impression. That is so true. That is so true. One chance to make a first impression, young people, adults. So if you're going out for that new job, adults, give it your best. Even if you're putting in an application, look your best. You might get hired on the spot. Young people, go into your class tomorrow with a new attitude. So much so that your teachers say, man, what, what done happened to John? John has a new attitude, and he recognizes that there are consequences to his choices, and he's turned over a new leaf, as they say. Decide to be an overcomer, not a lifelong victim. Some of us have endured some harsh situations in life, been victim of abuse, physical, mental, okay? All of those are realities, unfortunately, but we don't have to remain a victim. You don't have to remain a victim. Be an overcomer, be a succeeder, all right? You can do it, it's all about your choices and your attitude. We're telling you here inside of Education Matters, it's possible. Anything is possible, especially in this great country we're in. The land of opportunity. Are you willing to reach out and grab it and do what it takes to make these things happen in your life? We all have an excuse. We can use any excuse we want. I'm too short. I'm too fat. I'm too dark-skinned. Uh, I don't have as much money. Okay? Excuses, excuses. We know success stories over and over again of people who came from other countries with pennies in their pocket and now they're billionaires, millionaires, or they just have great families and they, and they appreciate life. It's not always about money. It's not about money. You know, a lot of rich people who are killing themselves, who are getting divorced, who are just totally unhappy. So don't let money be your driving force because that's going to come and go. It's about your attitude, it's about your choices, it's about your realization of what's really important in life. And of course, for me, God is everything. He's everything. He's the reason why I live. He's the reason why I sit here and breathe. He's the reason why I do what I do. But those are my choices. So we hope you enjoy today. It is your life, it's your future, and it's your choice. And I pray that after today, your choices will continue to elevate you higher and higher. My name is Donna Moore Westby, your host of Education Matters, where learning is living. See you next week.